Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another nail DIY video. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can take your nails from looking like this to this. This looks mad cute. I did a dip powder nail set at home. So if you guys are interested in today's video, then make sure you keep watching. Of course, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Okay, so starting out, my nails are already prepped and cleaned and cut my cuticles down and all that stuff, just so I wanted to take some time off of this video. So my nails are already prepped and I'm just gluing on these tips. I will link the tips in the description box down below. Everything that I use, I will find the link for it and I will have it linked down below in the description box. But I'm just um, using my Sally, I think this is Sally Hansen, I'm not sure though. But I'm using my nail glue and I'm just applying the nail tips to each fingernail. And you want to make sure that you're pressing down on the tip for at least 30 seconds to really make sure that it's adhered to your entire nail really well. And that's what they look like. They're real long, girl. I like to keep them long, but today I'm going to cut them down a little bit shorter because, you know, they can't be too long for work. So, um, I'm taking my um, nail cutter and I'm just cutting down the nails. I'm making sure that I'm cutting them down to the same length as my other hand since my other hand is already done. And then I'm going in with my nail file and I'm just shaping the nails up. Because I'm doing a dip powder set and because I want a specific shape, I do have to shape the nails before I go in and apply any of the dip powder. I mean, you would do that with any kind of nail product you're using, whether it's gel or acrylic or whatever, but... Um, with dip powder, it's like you want to make sure that the nail pretty much resembles the shape that you want after you're done dipping them in the powder because there isn't much filing that you have to do. So, going in and I'm shaping them to make sure that they look exactly the way that I want. I like a narrow square shape. Um, it's most comparable to the shape that Kylie always has with her nails. They're like long and square but they're a narrow square they're not like a wide square they're not coffin though but they're just long and narrow so that's the shape I'm going for we're all shaped up and I'm just checking to make sure that the nails are the same length because that's very important you don't want some nails on one hand to be longer than the other hand because that looks crazy so I'm just making sure that everything's even and then I'm going in and I'm just fixing it if it's not. And now that the shape is perfected, I cleaned off my nails of any nail dust. I'm going with these two Kiss dip powders. One is a light pink color and the other one is white. And this is what the pink looks like and this is what the white looks like and I'm pouring the white into the dip powder tray this comes in the kit when you buy the entire um, little nail kit for $12 so I have this from the pink the time that I bought the pink powder and the brush gel and then I bought the white separately so I put the white into the tray and I'm gonna do a single layer of the brush on gel but first I wanted to buff the top layer of my nail so that the tip and my nail are a bit smoother. So I'm going in with layer one of the brush on gel and then I'm immediately going to dip my finger into the white dip powder. And I'm only dipping it about three quarters of the way and then I'm going to do the pink on the top. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that. So I'm just tapping off the excess white dip powder that's on my fingernail. And then going into the pink, I'm actually taking an extra little nail tip and I'm just going to scoop that over the nail and like dust that on, if that makes sense. You guys can see what I'm doing. Yeah, so your nail is completely covered. Boom, finger one, done. Doing the same thing with the ring finger, I'm still showing you guys in regular time. Doing one nice smooth layer of that brush on gel. And then I'm going to dip the fingernail into the white powder three quarters of the way, tap off the excess powder, and then pour the pink powder on top over the entire um, top portion of the nail. It's okay if the pink gets on top of the white because the white is already there, so it's not going to affect anything. 
um, you're still going to be able to see the difference in the pink and the white. Same thing for our middle finger, three quarters of the way, you're going to dip it in there. And then I'm going to do the pink on top. It's actually extremely simple, very easy. I wanted to do dip powder nails this time around because I've been doing gel a lot recently and although I love my gel nails, um, it's not, like when my fingernails are really thin, it's not the best thing to do because it does kind of burn when I do have to cure my nails. So I wanted to do something where I didn't have to use the UV lamp as much. I still do end up going in with a gel clear top coat at the very end, but that in comparison to doing like a full set of gel nails is a lot less UV use. And that was my goal for doing my nails this time around. Um, the dip powder is honestly, it's so easy. Anyone can do this. If you can paint your nails with clear nail polish, then you can do dip powder because it's just, that's all that it really is. You're just painting your nails as normal and then just dipping it into a powder that has color and then that's what gives you the acrylic style nail. I absolutely love it. I feel like it's super easy. I think everyone should try it and it's really affordable too. Like I said, the kit itself is only $12. You can find it at your local drugstore, beauty supply store. This is what layer one of the nails looks like and then I'm going in with layer two. So we're going back in with the brush on gel and I'm gonna follow the same steps um, except for this time I'm gonna dip when I dip the nail in for the white, I'm going to dip it a little bit lower than I did the last time. Um, I wanted to try to see if I could create kind of like a gradient effect with the nail by doing this. So applying the white a little bit lower and then the pink overlapping the white the second time around. It did give me a gradient effect, but there was still a line of demarcation between the white and the pink, which is fine because the design that we're doing where we put the foil, we're layering the foil on top, you can't see it, but if I wanted to do kind of like an ombre, it wouldn't have been possible because it wasn't like a smooth gradient. It was still kind of choppy, if that makes sense. You guys will see later on. But yeah, I'm just doing the same thing, white and then pink, tapping off the excess, and then I'm taking a little brush and I'm just dusting off that top layer you want to make sure that you definitely do that and then this is very important after the second layer of your brush on gel and powder you have to do a layer of activator um, it's very important to do the layer of activator this is what activates the product and basically turns it into a hardened nail it feels like an acrylic nail after you use the activator so it's just basically hardening everything on top of the tip and on your nail so that it's an actual acrylic nail almost so that's what it looks like after I do the activator and then I'm gonna go in with layer 3 of the brush on gel so I'm doing an entire layer all over the entire nail and instead of doing white and pink I'm just doing pink this time so I'm dipping my entire nail in the pink dip powder and tapping off the excess and I'm just gonna speed through this because you guys get the point by now I mean very simple, very easy to follow. Just dipping the entire nail in that pink dip powder. But yeah, this is super simple. This is a really great beginner friendly acrylic style nail tutorial nail product. <laughs> Um, I feel like anyone can do this. So if you've ever wanted to try to give yourself acrylic style salon nails at home, definitely, definitely try the dip powder first. Brushing off that extra layer of nail dust, and this is what the nails are looking like, and then I'm gonna go in with my um, layer of activator. I'm not gonna do a fourth layer of the brush on gel and dip powder. I'm just gonna stick to three layers today. So that's why I'm finishing it off with the layer of activator just to harden everything so I can go in and shape up my nails after this. That's what the nails are looking like, nice and hardened and just ready to be buffed and shaped. And then I'm going in with my nail file. I like nail files with really straight edges. 
Um, this one has like a really square shape on one side and then it's kind of like an almond or like a round shape on the other. And I feel like this is my go-to. This nail file just gets the job done, okay? <laughs> I can give myself a nice clean shape, nice clean sharp lines, and then I can also like buff the top of the nail with the rounded side. That's what I'm showing you guys. And then I go in with my buffer and I'm just smoothing everything over. This gives the nail a nice smooth effect, which is also really pretty. It makes the gel sit tight the gel sit nicely on top of this this step is optional but I do feel like it really does take my nails to the next level I'm gonna go in with my e-file my electric nail file and I'm going to just do this around the cuticle of my nail um, I feel like when I do this step it makes my nails look one like I got them done at the nail salon because I noticed that they do this at the nail salon but also it makes my nails look more natural like it makes it look like it's growing out of my cuticle because I'm taking away any bulkiness right by the cuticle area and then I'm also taking the e-file and I'm taking it up underneath the nail to kind of give me that really nice curve um, something else that I love to do now with my nails so I'm just doing that on all of my nails I'm taking the e-file and just running over the cuticle area and I don't know I just love the way this looks it makes the nails just look so it makes them look like they're professionally done <laughs> but it just makes them look so nice like it's like almost I don't even know how to describe it it just makes them look really blended and just smooth so I would say if you're serious about doing your own nails at home then you should definitely invest in an e-file they're not expensive at all this one is from Amazon I will link it down below as well um, and once you get one of these girl you just you're at the next level you're taking yourself to the next level That's what the nails look like, all buffed, filed, shaped, cleaned off the nail dust. Now I'm going to go in with my brush on gel and this foil that I got off of AliExpress. I will link this down below as well. I'm ripping it up into little pieces and I'm applying, I'm applying a generous amount of the gel across my nail, um, right where that gradient of the white and the pink is, and then I'm going to layer the foil on top of the nail this was a design that I actually saw on Instagram and I was like oh my god I really want to try this and I actually already had the foil just um, the person that did it on Instagram had gold foil and I had silver but I was like I think it will still look really cute so that's what it looks like before I do the top coat but I'm gonna do it to all of the nails of course so just going on with the brush on gel it kind of acts like a nail glue and then the foil and then I'm applying a gel top coat. I could have opted for a regular top coat, but I wanted the high shine. And gel top coats just stay really shiny for the entire two weeks that my nails stay on. So I prefer to use a gel top coat versus a regular top coat. So I'm applying one generous layer of that. And then I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. And then go in with a nourishing cuticle oil from Gelish. And I'm going to apply that to all of my cuticles. And our nails are pretty much done. They look so good. Like, I'm actually so proud of myself because these came out really, really cute. Um, really inspired to just keep doing my nails. Like, I feel like every single time I do them, I just get a little bit better and better. So, if you guys enjoyed today's nail DIY tutorial, then please give this video a thumbs up down below. You can also go ahead and click the subscribe button and join the fam. You might as well. If you got this far, you might as well click the subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications. There will be new videos three times a week. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you at my next video. Bye!